Hello and welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another exciting aircraft comparison episode. In this video, we'll compare the Indian-built Tejas Mark II fighter jet with the South Korean KF-21 fighter jet. Let's start with Korean fighter jet. The KF-21 Boromi, formerly known as the KFX, is a South Korean fighter jet that collaborates with Indonesia with the aim of building an advanced multi-role fighter for the air forces of both countries. The fighter jet, whose production is anticipated to begin in 2026, made its first test flight on July 19, 2022. It has 50% longer combat range, a 34% longer airframe lifespan, provided improved avionics, an active electronically scanned array radar, more potent electronic warfare, and data link capabilities should make the KFX superior to the F-16 Fighting Falcon. They recommended two engines with a combined thrust about 50,000 pounds force, supersonic interception and cruise capability, and multi-role capabilities. According to the source, South Korea is now the ninth country in the world to have developed and successfully flown a supersonic combat jet. It took off from Sachian Air Base during the test and soared for 33 minutes while flying the flags of South Korea and Indonesia. The six prototypes should fly roughly 2,200 times total, including flights for two-seater aircraft. The Tejas Mark II, also known as the medium-weight fighter, it is a single-engine, canner delta wing, multi-role combat aircraft developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's Aircraft Research and Design Center for the Indian Air Force. It is anticipated to fly for the first time in 2023, and production was set to start by 2026. Along with other avionics upgrades, it will include an indigenous integrated life support system an aircraft health and usage monitoring system to coordinate various sensors on board. It is also integrated with electro-optic electronic warfare suit. In addition to a missile approach warning system, it will have an infrared search and track system. More weapons with a longer range may be carried to increase an internal fuel capacity and payload capacity over 3,400 kg and 6,500 kg, respectively. The avionics of Tejas Mark II will be centered on multi-sensor data fusion, incorporating both active and passive sensors on board. The Tejas Mark II would be equipped with a variant of Utamisa radar, while the combat aircraft will also have an integrated Erst system for passive target acquisition. The Tejas Mark IA fighter jet is also one of the Malaysian defense tender contender to replace the country's current fighter jet. It offers a variety of armament packages and services for aircraft orders, making it the strongest contractor from the Asian region. The Tejas Mark II will have a night vision goggles compatible glass cockpit dominated by a touch-sensitive white area display placed in panoramic orientation and a white-angle holographic head-up display system. The Tejas Mark II will have hands-on throttle and stick arrangement with right hand on stick and left hand on throttle settings to ease the pilot workload. The Tejas Mark II fighter plane has undergone numerous improvements since the Tejas Mark I model. Tejas Mark II and the Kai KF-21 both have the option of having two seats. The Tejas Mark II is 47 feet long, 27 feet wide, and 15 feet tall, while the KF-21 is 55 feet long, 36 feet wide, and 15 feet tall. The Tejas Mark II weighs 7,850 kg, whereas the KF-21 has an empty weight of 11,800 kg, the KF-21's gross weight is 17,200 kg, and the Tejas Mark II's gross weight is 11,300 kg. The Tejas Mark II has a maximum take of weight of 17,500 kg, whereas the KF-21 has a maximum take of weight of 24,400 kg. The KF-21 and Tejas Mark II are capable of a top speed of Mach 1.81. The Tejas Mark II has an about 3,500 km ferry range, while the KF-21 has a 2,900 km range. 
with an afterburner, KF21s has two General Electric F414 afterburning turbofan engines may produce up to 97.2 kN. Tejas Mark II is equipped with a single General Electric F414 afterburning turbofan that has a FADEC 98 kN thrust rating and a 110 kN afterburner. KF21 has 10 hard points, 4 under the fuselage and 6 under the wings. It is capable of transporting MBDA and AIM-120 air-to-air missiles. The Sidewinder AIM-9X, Iris Deal. Additionally, it is capable of transporting the Harpoon, AM-65, and Taurus air-to-ground missiles. Along with GBUs, it can also carry precision-guided bombs in the JDAM and KGGB. Further it is integrated with the following avionics. Active electronic array scan. A tracking system that uses infrared light and an electro-optical aiming tool. Additionally, it has data link capabilities. Mission computer jammer, radio frequency jammer, flight control computer, multifunction display, and storm management computer. Tejas features 13 hard points with a total capacity of 6.5 tons. In addition to MICA, ASRAM, Meteor, and Astra, it can also carry air-to-air -air and to-surface missiles including BrahMos, LRLACM, Storm Shadow, and Crystal Maze. It can carry anti-radiation weapons like Tarudram. The Tejas Mark II is additionally outfitted with laser-guided, glide, cluster, loitering, and unguided bombs as well as the SPICE and HSLD precision guided bombs. It incorporates a number of integrated avionics features, including a targeting pod, the dual color missile approach warning system, the LRDEU Atom ESA radar, and the DARE Unified Electronic Warfare Suite. The estimated cost of the Korean KF-21 fighter jet is $65 million per unit. Prices are still influenced by various choices for avionics and weapon kits. While the Tejas Mark 1A costs US $39 million, the export version of the Tejas Mark II is estimated to cost around $50 million. Prices are still impacted by different avionics and weapon kit options. Tell us which fighter jet you prefer, the South Korean KF-21 or the Indian-built Tejas Mark II fighter. Write about it in the comments area. Thank you for watching, and if this is your first time on our channel, kindly click the subscribe button.